How can you love God more? Well, what if I told you you already love God as much as you'll ever need to love Him? That's right, if you're in Christ, you have an undying love for Jesus. We're told this very thing in Ephesians 6 verse 24. Do you realize God has poured out His love in your heart? That's what happened at salvation. Remember, He took out your heart of stone, gave you a new heart, and filled that heart with Himself. And we love God because He first loved us. So, what if you weren't waking up every day trying to love God more and prove your love to Him? What if God already knows that you love Him because He deposited His love inside of you? You know, that's the truth of the gospel. We could wake up every day and try to do more and be more and serve more and love more as if we've got something to prove to God. Or we could recognize that God proved His love to us in the person of Jesus Christ. And that's where the gospel is really centered. You know, Paul prayed for the Ephesians. He prayed that they would come to know the love of God, how wide it is and how deep it is and how high it is and how long it is, this love of Christ that is ginormous. It is love upon love and grace upon grace beyond anything we could ask or imagine. So instead of trying to love God more, what if your prayer was, God, show me your great love. Show me how much you love me. And you know what? As you bask and bathe in the great love of Jesus Christ, you will naturally reflect that to other people. In the Old Testament, sure, they were trying to love the Lord their God with all their heart and all their soul and all their mind and then love their neighbor as much as they loved themselves. That's a lot of pressure. And those were the two greatest commands in the law. But remember, that's the law. And you're not under the law, you're under grace. So you don't have to wake up every day and try to gut it out, loving God more and more every hour, proving to Him, God, I really, really mean it this time. No, instead, we can focus on God's great love for us. And in His love for you, you know what He did? Well, he deposited an undying, unfading, unshakable, unbreakable love for him. You will always love Jesus Christ. People often say, well, I know God would never leave me, but what if I leave him? What if I abandon him? Well, the truth is you won't. Not if you're in Christ. Not if you're a new-hearted child of God. You've got a heart that loves Jesus. You will love Jesus Christ forever. Now that's the truth that sets you free.